Well, hello. I'm, oops, don't need to see me in those. <laughs> so, uh, I'm jumping the gun a little bit. I'm actually on the road. I'd planned a different video for this week, but I'm so excited about this pen, I just had to share it. I mean, I brought this pen with me. I liked it that well. So, without further ado, I want to share my first impressions of the Cross Bailey, then we'll talk about it afterwards. All right, so the pen I have in front of you today is the Cross Bailey. This is an impulsive uh, stationery store find, an Office Max or Office Depot, one or the other, whatever's in Bismarck that's still in business. It arrives in this clear packaging. I was attracted to the color. I've been looking for a purple pen and, uh, well, it's not purple, but I found it attractive. And I've liked some of the other cross pens I've used lately, so I thought, let's give it a try. Coral. It's coral. Not coral from uh, Walking Dead. Coral the color. That's a joke for those of you who've watched Walking Dead. So it arrives, that's apparently a display case, and then there's a different case, I guess if it's shipped, I don't know. Inside the case, we've got some instructive doodads underneath, stuff about a warranty and so on. Blister this thing. So we'll put we'll set the packaging aside. Take a look at the pen. So the pen itself is in this nice coral color. Nothing on the finial, cross engraved here. Nothing here. This is not a piston turning knob, it just plays one. Uh, here. Huh. This is not a screw cap. This is a snap cap. And I'm okay with that. The nib. I can't tell if it says on it. Let's see if it says on the box it just tossed. Woo! It does not. So we'll just go with like a medium or something. We'll find out when we write with it. Or if I see, can see when I uh, look at the footage later. Inside comes with a cross converter. Cartridge, sorry, cartridge. Well, where's the fun in using a cartridge? So we'll set that aside because we're not going to use a cartridge today. So it turns out that all my <laughs> cross uh, converters are located. Oh, is that one? Yeah, all my cross converters are located in cross pens. So, we'll do the stinking cartridge. Yay. Actually got a little blue dot there out of it. Not sure how, because it's a black cartridge. Okay, had to shake it down a little, but I'm starting to get ink. Not quickly, mind you, but... Okay, it's coming, so... Let us write. So the ink in it, of course, is cross black. I have nothing against cross black. It's just I don't really know cross inks, and I always like to do this with the same ink, my beloved Parker Quink Washable Blue. So is there flex in this pen? No. But maybe you can hear that there is feedback. A lot of it. Uh, wetness and flow. decent not you know super wet pen the smear test is another good measurement eh, it's okay <laughs> um, uh, reverse writing 
I will say, by the way, that the ink did get to the nib fairly quickly. You know, some pens, when you use a cartridge, you're waiting forever. So I'd call that a scratchy extra fine. And finally, the world-famous Pierre Gustafson test. There was one skip in the loops, but I think that was my fault. So on the whole, I think it did very well. So, you know, it has a cheaper feel. I like how it looks. The writing is, you know, not amazing, but decent. Uh, so we'll see if it'll flip and stay on the paper so I can take a damn picture. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how I like it in the days to come. So was the Cross Bailey. Uh, by the time you're seeing this, I am home, so don't think about coming into my house and stealing this pen because uh, I'm there. Uh, but the time of filming, I'm in Bismarck with a group of students. So yeah, I am really thrilled with this Cross Bailey. Um, coral colored pen, costs uh, under $15. It's a snap cap. It, feels good in the hand. It looks good. I like how it writes. I have been using this. In fact, uh, I inked up, you know, my Lamy 2000 always takes a break during the, the holidays and uh, so I can wash it out and stuff. And uh, I inked up my Pelican M, no, sorry, my Pilot Custom 823 to be used during this time. And uh, guess what pen has just been kind of sitting around? So, uh, yeah, I've been using this. I, it, I uh, used up that cross cartridge. For, ooh, uh, it's been riding in my pocket, kind of doing a lot of sitting today, so I'm going to forgive it. It's a little poop there. Or, <laughs> I just say poop. It's a little uh, uh, leakage there. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I'll edit that out. But anyway, I, uh, <clears throat> I've just enjoyed writing with it. And uh, until just that moment, I haven't had a problem. Uh, one thing that's different now, well, for one thing, I did a lot of sitting at this convention that I'm at with the students. I spend most of my day on my feet because that's the nature of the job I have. I, another difference from when I filmed the first impression is I stole the converter out of my Cross Townsend and put it in here. So it's now writing with uh, Edelstein Onyx. Still enjoying it. I'm just very happy with it. It feels good in the hand. It looks good. I've gotten several compliments here in Bismarck on it. Um, <clears throat> low cost. I mean, what's not to like? This is lower cost than a Safari. Uh, pocket test, no problem. I won't say that coral goes with everything. I uh, Honestly, I take part in a gag gift every year. Sort of a gag gift. You know, it's, it's I guess, a white elephant gift. And that's what I bought the pen for. I thought, oh, we'll, we'll do a cheap cross, and then I'll give it away with a bottle of ink I don't like. And uh, no, I won't be doing that. <laughs> I like this pen. So uh, will it replace the Lamy 2000? No. Lamy 2000 is objectively a better pen. But this is a really good pen. I mean, punching way above its weight class. I am thrilled to pieces with it. I have uh, used up that cross cartridge. I used up uh, one full fill of the Edelstein Onyx, and I'm on my second fill of Edelstein Onyx. And I might just keep filling it through the holiday. You know, at some point I'm going to have to write with that, no, oh, the pilot goes to me, 23, I'll force myself. But I am really <laughs> enjoying this pen. So uh, it's really hard for me to be objective about it, but I was so excited about it. You know, I, I realized how much I'm enjoying it over this this time in Bismarck, I just uh, decided we're going to go with this pen this week instead of whatever it was I planned. Um, whatever I filmed in my living room back at home, I don't even remember. I filmed several of them, so whatever it was. Um, yeah, so you can't go wrong with a cross Bailey. I don't know that you have a lot of nib sizes to choose from, but... Oh, I'm in a motel and there's shrieking teenagers in the hallway, but they're not mine. My teenagers are at a dance right now. So, anyway, I hope you found this useful. And, uh, yeah, if you're looking for a low-cost, very well-made pen, cross Bailey. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.